Welcome to The Running Show 2010, a really exciting show this year, jam-packed full of all sorts of exciting equipment and of course the one thing that most athletes are most interested in, trainers. And Now there's a lot here today but there's one shoe in particular that's very special, only just been launched in the UK and it's called On. Now I'm joined by Rick Kiddle who is an ambassador for On. Uh, he's going to tell us a little bit more about the shoe. Rick, my first impressions are that this shoe looks very light to start with. Yeah, it is a really light shoe because it doesn't have to have so much of the support that other shoes tend to have. So yeah, really light, very flexible and fast. And good training shoe as well. And it's, um, it's a new idea, it's a new concept that's come from Sweden, I believe. It's actually Switzerland. Okay, got the S right. Yeah. It's a Swiss shoe. Um, it's, uh, there's a guy called Oliver Bernhard who used to run um, Ironmans and win the, the run sections and world champion and blah, blah, blah. He's uh, came up with the idea along with us some designers and uh, uh, it's got the, the, the amount of feedback that we're getting over there from there is amazing. Uh, a lot of people using it, finding that, that, that it's getting them to run in the right position, reducing injury, you know, uh, potential. And uh, uh, not only that, but because it's such a light shoe, it can be used as a racing shoe as well. Um, I can talk about the, the, the sort of technology of it. Basically, you've got 13 what they call clouds. They look like the shape of a cloud and uh, inside them they have serrations that, that lock in on the impact so as, the, as they compress they lock in so that when you then leave the ground, when you strike the ground and leave the ground they've, they've locked in and it functions like a race shoe um, so you, you have the, the impact of a training shoe but, but the feel of a race shoe um, interesting one thing I noticed was that the midsole is very flexible and that's something that you don't always see in a lot of running shoes today they tend to be very solid through the middle and don't have a lot of bend in them yeah I mean that's that's there's there's two shoes really one a trainer with loads of midsole loads of support then there's the lightweight racing shoe and uh, um, the lightweight racing shoe tends to um, help contribute to injuries, that kind of thing. Um, the, the supportive shoe will take the impact out, but it tends to only take the vertical impact. Um, so the idea of the, this shoe is that you have a really, really, uh, it's, it's, you wouldn't say thin, but it's, it's not as large as a normal midsole, but it's very, very flexible. So you tend to roll forward. And that's the idea, you roll forward and you land on the, uh, the clouds, which, which act like uh, individual s uh, soles of the shoe. So then uh, you've, you've taken out that impact horizontally, but also vertically, but you, and you're rolling onto the, the midfoot, forefoot, where, where is a natural sort of feel. It's like um, the, the, the trend now is to go to barefoot running, but we're seeing a lot of people with injuries. Um, the idea of this is it, it functions similar to a barefoot running style, however it takes the impact out. Now, you've obviously tried the shoe out. Just how different is it to your average running shoe that you can go and buy today? Well, first impressions when you put it on is it's really, really comfortable. And I think that's because it's, it's a nice snug fit, but without a lot of tightness around the top of the shoe. Um, when you walk around in it, it you, you can actually feel the, the really soft cushioning of, the, of each cl of the clouds. Um, and it's not until you start running that you appreciate the fact that yeah, there's, it does feel like there's a load of cushioning, but, but when you change the speeds, that's when I notice that, well, actually, I'm, I'm kicking off, I'm pushing off really, really fast, and my cadence goes up, and my, short, my stride is a little bit shorter than normal, which is great, because that longer stride is more impact. It sounds to me a little bit like the shoe might be sort of heading towards the more elite runner, but that's obviously not the case. This is a shoe that's for everyone, right? Absolutely, we're, we're positioning ourselves as a shoe that, that is ideal for um, midfoot and forefoot, but, but actually the, the heel strikers are the ones that, that are actually going to benefit the most because, because of the fact that it's just a really flexible midsole means that they're going to naturally roll forward onto the, towards the front of the foot and uh, it's, it's literally 10 minutes, 20 minutes of, of running and they'll notice that they've actually changed the position of their strike which can only be good because that takes the impact out. Now there, there has been a little bit of a U-turn, as, as you mentioned just there earlier, about running shoes today and that the fact that people are sort of earing a little bit towards more the kind of 
you know, the very sort of lightweight running shoe with kind of little support and going back to more barefoot kind of running. Why do you think that is? Well, naturally, if you look at the, the biomechanics of a, a person when they, they land, um, if they're landing and they're on the back of the foot, their, their leg tends to, um, to naturally sort of spring and bend. But all the impact that you do get goes right up into the joints, into the knee specifically. Um, and that's the, about the worst thing you can do. As, as a, a runner who's been running for a long time, most, you, you hear so many stories of people who've been running a long time with knee injuries and knee injuries are a lot worse than, than kind of like tendons and ligaments because you know that's it once your knee's gone it's gone um, so if you're if you're thinking about uh, longevity of, of running then you you want to be able to take as much impact out as you can but but also we want to perform so to perform if we if we can actually roll onto our midfoot and forefoot then we're, we're getting rid of that impact through the joints, but we're also allowing us to, to push off hard and, and increase our speed. I mean, it's, it's fairly uncommon in uh, running, but in the past we've seen the likes of Zola Bard and, and people like that choosing to actually run with nothing on at all. But obviously this shoe, what it's doing is it's kind of giving you that effect of running barefoot, but at the same time with a little cushioning to help prevent the injuries. Absolutely. I mean, there's not many people like Zola Bud who could run without shoes. Um, the ones that do, they, they would get impact injuries if they're running on hard surfaces. Uh, and if they don't, they're just really lucky genetically. Um, so if we can get people to run in the same position as a barefoot runner, however, take the impact out and in, improve the, the, the whole sort of cushioning process, then you know, you've got a winner. And I think that, that ON is delivering that at the moment. And you'll see in the next 12 months a, a massive increase in people who are looking at this type of shoe. Um, now, interestingly, you're, you're not just an ambassador to uh, ON, but you're also coaching. You're a former triathlete, international triathlete yourself, and you are coaching Vernon Kay, which I believe is, is public knowledge. Yeah, yeah, most people know that. I, I've got a couple of blogs which we've been doing while we've been training together. So you can go on to his website or my website, rickkittle.com, and uh, you can see, see what we're up to. Uh, we've done a couple. We're, we'll, we'll do some more when he comes back from America where he's playing on, on ice at the moment. So, uh, yeah, we're, it's good fun. It's good fun. And the big question is that next year he's going to be hitting London hard. This time he's going to be going for a target time of sub 220 will he be wearing a pair, pair of ons he's running in them all at the moment he loves them and i can only say yes because um, these act like a racing shoe not just taking the impact out for for training long miles but um to, to push off and run fast and that's what i want him to do i mean we've got a real schedule of training his uh, his cycling is really shot up a, a level now and and um he was already a pretty good runner, but people didn't see that on the last one because he was so tired after the bike ride. Um, now he's, he's got his cycling legs, he's going to get off the bike and he's going to run at a good pace, I hope. I mean, he's doing the training, so uh, uh, I think people will be quite impressed. Rick Kiddle, trainer of the stars, thanks very much for joining us today. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Cheers.